Hey, gearheads. If you thought the electric truck scene was all about Tesla, you're in for a surprise. Let's zoom into the fascinating world of Atlas Motor Vehicles. Rewind to 2016, a visionary named Mark Hanchett had a dream. His ambition? Design an electric pickup that could rival the iconic Ford F-150 Lightning. Enter the Atlas XT. With its futuristic platform and a generous 8-foot bed, this truck is turning heads. So what's the buzz about the Atlas truck? It's all in the numbers. Imagine towing between 5,000 to 20,000 pounds, attach a fifth wheel and gooseneck, and you're looking at a staggering 35,000 pounds. This isn't just a truck, it's a powerhouse. When it comes to mileage, the Atlas XT is no slouch. Boasting a range of 300 to 500 miles on just one charge and reaching speeds up to 120 miles per hour, this is an electric truck that's breaking barriers. And if you're all about perks, Atlas Motor Vehicles rolls out the red carpet for its users. Picture this, a subscription that covers free maintenance and insurance and even charges your truck at Atlas stations, all for a starting price of around $700 per month. And the best part? No strings attached. Cancel whenever you want without any penalties. Now, who is the Atlas truck built for? It's the dream ride for anyone who needs a sturdy work companion, think transporting construction materials, or navigating tough landscapes. But don't be fooled, it's also a comfy family ride for those weekend getaways. I bet you're itching to know about its release. While we had hopes for a limited series by late 2022, Atlas, now rebranded as NXU, has been tight-lipped about the release date. So, the anticipation continues. As for the price tag, the Atlas XT is slated to start around a competitive $45,000. Given all its phenomenal features, that's a bang for your buck. The Atlas XT promises to be a game-changer in the electric truck realm. That's it for today's video. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button to stay updated with all things automotive. Keep revving those engines.